Um, today we have, whoa, whoops, forgot to move the safety brick. Get the brick, see the brick? I don't know, this may not be in focus. You got that? Yep. There's safety, but you should remove the brick. All right, let's roll. Today on Agents and Golf Carts Getting Beer, we have Mark Smith, who is a fellow agent at Freedom First Properties. Good guy, also an appraiser. Mark is a very good golfer, very low handicap. I gotta find him, he's somewhere out here on the street parked. Oh, I think I found his car. What's up, guys? Mark Smith, <laughs> jump in the cart. Let's go film a show. Right. This is McKenna, this is my daughter. Hi, McKenna. Hello. And. Uh, She's strapped in. We got her uh, holding on tight in the back of the cart. Nice. It's a beautiful day out. Take a cruise around the neighborhood and we'll go on up to the studio. Perfect. Get some filming done. Woo! A little windy. I hope that dead cow cat is working good on the, uh, on the uh, mic there, McKenna. <laughs> is it working? Working good? Yep. Smell a little smoke in the air, those fires. It's a little bit. Wind's blowing it right over, too. T you know, today would not be a good golf day. That'd be kind of miserable. No. You played on days like this though, right? Always, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's just got to do what you got to do. Sometimes. All right, the studio's right here inside the garage. Let's go in and let's get rolling. Great. Welcome to another episode of Agents in Golf Carts Getting Beer. I'm your host, Dan Brock, Freedom First Properties. My special guest today is Mark Smith, an agent and appraiser with Freedom First Properties. Mark. Introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. it. I'm Mark Smith, and as you said, I'm an agent and a, uh, a real estate agent and an appraiser with Freedom First Properties. Um, started out kind of out of college doing uh, some soccer stuff. I was coaching in high school, coached in uh, college, did some ODP stuff, and then as I had kids, uh, wanted to be home a little bit more, so I transitioned to uh, an appraiser. Got my appraisal license and that kind of morphed into a being a real estate agent okay excellent um both of us being agents i know it gets a little crazy out there we get some crazy clients get good ones too i mean it's a good business but the good business stories aren't as interesting so um we were talking a little bit earlier for the show uh you have a story of something just kind of went crazy um, just, I don't want to take all the way. Uh, right. Tell, tell me, uh, tell me a little right. story from the live in the field, so to speak. Sure, sure. So without getting into the client stuff, because we all know clients can be a little iffy. The uh, one interesting kind of real interesting story I had was I was with an agent. We were showing a property with my client. We left the property. She had called back. We had kind of gone over a few of the details of the uh, transaction. And she didn't like the way it was going and started calling me some pretty interesting names. Oh. Good names. Won't mention any of them here, but some great we are, names. We are trying to be a G, PG show. But it did turn out to be kind of a fun transaction because every time we got on the phone, there were some choice words exchanged <laughs> back and forth. So it made it for an interesting transaction. We'll just we'll leave it there at that one. Okay. Um, excellent. Um, let's kind of move on to maybe some a uh, little bit more a different thing um i know we're just in the studio i don't want to go anywhere and get too crazy but what's something you could teach me right here that i don't know something i could teach you right now well since it is kind of a golf kind of background i would say anytime you're out golfing yeah uh, don't let your beer gauge get too high oh yeah the higher the beer gauge the higher the scores yeah <laughs> yes uh <laughs> sometimes the beers are fun but yes if you want to score I'll, I'll put Something. that on the put That's that right. on the notes. A little, a few beers make the scores good. A lot of beers make the scores bad. Okay. Well, this since this is a show about golf, beer, and real estate agents, we're the agents. We've talked about golf. You want to taste test a beer? Absolutely. All right. I'm. Uh, Absolutely. Let's, let's open. Here, I'll open this one. Pour two. You maybe want to open that one. Right. Then uh, pour two. We're just doing a taste taste test here. Let's see. Uh, there's one, two, let's probably go, maybe better to go uh, light to dark. Light to dark. All right, let's, uh, let's try the Coronas. All right. Let's see, let's see. 
Cheers. Cheers. We'll try this one. Oh, my bad. Probably should have had a little lime. I think Cron Cronos are good. I like them with the lime. How about you? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Definitely could drink that in moderation on the golf course. That's a good one. Yeah, that one that won't won't tip the beer gauge too high. Okay, let's try this one. Cheers right, on the second cheers. one. Let's try this. Oh, I like it, Guinness. Guinness is good. Winter beer. Like this one much better. Yeah, like this better. <laughs> this one's much better. I don't, I don't think I've ever drank Guinness on the golf course. I've had Coronas. Yeah, I've had Coronas. I don't. Guinness on the golf course is probably not the best idea. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, um, again, Mark, thanks for joining us on the show today. Um, Thank you for having me. And your contact information will be below in the liner notes just underneath. So click on that. You can find out more about Mark. And thanks for watching today. And quick tips with Stephanie. We're here once again. Steph, what quick tip do you have for us today? Did you know research has shown that hugging and laughter, for that matter, are helpful in reducing stress, anxiety, healing, sickness, and uh, all that. Hugging actually increases your oxytocin levels. So, hug somebody and laugh. Agents and golf carts getting beer. We are on to the charity segment. So I still have my guest here, Mark. We are going to putt for charity. But before we get to that, I want to ask Mark the three questions I like to ask my guests. Mark, have you ever made beer? Have you ever golfed? Or have you ever mountain biked? I have not made beer. I have golfed. And I have mountain biked. Okay, well. Two or three. We got the equipment here. Well, on another episode, I'm going to make some beer. We'll make that, have you come over and get that done. Love it. Okay, so um, if you've watched the show, you know how this goes. If you haven't, I'll explain. My guest, Putts, they make it. I put in five bucks to the charity jar. They miss. They put in five bucks. At uh, some point, end of the season, we haven't figured that out yet. We're going to donate the money jar to a charity. More to come on that later. Mark, let's see your putting skills. Which, which hole are you going for? I'm going to go for the middle one. Okay. Not the sand traps. <laughs> not, not the sand traps, no. Sand trap. Sand trap. So, I need five bucks. You got it. There, there it is. Five bucks in the money jar. All right. Thanks, Mark. All right. Thanks, Dan. Okay. Appreciate it.